Hello, I'm Dr. Ann Merkel, and a lot of times people ask me when they're using EFT or any other meridian tapping technique, what do I say? And a lot of new people that are just using the techniques for the first time get really bogged down in the words. So, here's just a tip, and this is the way I do it in my practice, and this is the way I train my clients and the uh, practitioners that I certify in my energy therapy certification program. The basic thing that you are focusing on is is emotion. What is your block? What is your barrier? What is the, the, the energetic that's distorting you making decisions, you feeling good, you getting beyond disease? It's the feeling, not what's in your logical brain. And it's not something that you can logically will yourself out of. You know, you've tried that. You've tried to will yourself out of self-sabotage or pain or, or these other things. And at a certain point in your life, um, the, the force of will just doesn't work like it used to. Or it doesn't work at all. So, the thing about EFT and the use of meridians that is so important is to get into the emotions. Now, if talking takes your mind away from the emotions and you get into your brain and, and you start, you know, just focusing on, goodness gracious, you know, how do I solve the problem, worry, 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 that's your logical brain. Or if you're focusing on the, um, the words, oh, am I doing it right? Am I doing the setup right? You know, then you're not going to be clearing energy. So if you're having troubles in your practice already, helping yourself to clear and you say, well, I can't do this on myself. I, maybe I help others, but I can't do this on myself. Think about when you're focusing on others. You are there and you're being empathetic. You are into the emotion and your words that you're guiding them with as a facilitator are all full of emotion because you're trying to keep them in the emotion if you're a good practitioner and you're not getting into ego, that is. But when you're with yourself, you don't really have to talk, although I think it amps it up. In fact, I, I laughingly tell my people the natural way that the body clears energy is through crying or yelling or screaming or sobbing and just shaking. This is the way the body naturally releases. So if you've got a major thing that's happening and you just sit there and you cry and cry and cry and cry, that's good because that's the way the body's really going to clear it by itself. And if you can get yourself into crying or yelling or saying, you know, why is this happening to me and just verbalize your fears, your frustrations, your impatience, all of the emotions you're feeling as you're tapping on the strategic points, that is when you are going to feel the results. And they're going to be immediate. And what I tell people is to start either in the heart center, which I've already talked on another video about, which is right in this area. We won't go into that right now. But let's go back to just regular EFT. Start at the karate chop point. And whether you do a setup statement or not, you need to be focusing on what's not working. So you can talk about it to yourself or you can just feel it. Oh my goodness, this hurts so bad. I'm so afraid this is going to happen again. I'm so afraid that this, the sabotage or the, the pain's going to come back. And I choose to let it go. You know, that's why I'm tapping because I... I'm clearing it. I'm, I'm, I'm choosing to, to clear it now and so it never shows up again. Okay, so what I like to tell people is be in the emotion and tap on each point. Not just a few times, but feel the emotion. And at one point, when you're tapping and then you feel kind of a relief or the number on your 0 to 10 scale, uh, scale or gauge has gone down, then you go to the next point, and you tap there, and you just feel. Keep yourself in the feeling, the most intense feelings. And when that shifts, 
Oh, the confusion, the impatience. Oh, my goodness. I just choose to let it go. This feeling. And just, that's why Gary Craig keeps saying, you know, in his original teaching, the feeling, the feeling. That is what's important. It's not the words. Stay away from the words if they get you confused because they just get you into left brain and then you're not going to clear anything. So get into the feeling. The feeling. You know, really feel it. Oh my goodness, it hurts so bad. I'm so scared. I'm so afraid it might happen again. It might come back. And I, I'm clearing it now. I choose to clear it now. And it's over now. I'm moving on. My life is different now. You know, and go to all the points. And when you feel a shift and it just feels better, you know, that is when you let it go. And I like to tap these two points at the same time, the governing and the central meridian points, because they're related. I just choose to let it go. I just choose to let it go. And when you feel the shift, that is when you can go to the next point. So, I hope this has helped you try it. It's the, just the way that I do it, and I've had success for over 20 years uh, doing it this way. So, I hope that, um, that you get really good results from your tapping, and have a great rest of your day.